I was born in uh, Brooklyn, New York, between uh, Ebbets Field and the Botanic Gardens. I was, of course, a Dodger fan. Some of the first things that I can remember is uh, President Roosevelt getting on the uh, radio and uh, telling us that Pearl Harbor had been bombed. I decided that I would uh, try to uh, do my part in the war, even though I was a little elementary school kid, uh, by joining the uh, Brooklyn Botanic Gardens and growing vegetables. So I grew vegetables and supplied the neighborhood with vegetables. During my interview at Columbia College, I was asked why I was interested in the liberal arts college, if I wanted to be a dentist. I answered that I wanted to expand my intellectual curiosity about areas such as classical music, art, and philosophy. I guess my interviewer agreed with me since I was accepted as a member of the class of 1956. After graduation from dental school in 1959 and completion of periodontics at Columbia in 1962, I was asked to be co-chairman of the Columbia College 56 fund drive. However, I was drafted and, and became captain and a periodontist in the Army. So I made my fundraising phone calls and wrote letters from Fort Polk, Louisiana. Upon return to New York in 1965, I joined the faculty at Columbia as a part-time volunteer instructor in periodontics. Dr. Bert Schoenemann, the president of the Columbia Association of Dental Alumni, asked me to start a magazine for the school. I spent that summer learning how to edit a magazine with the help and advice of George Keller, who was the editor of Columbia College Today in 1965. A few years after I left Columbia to take a full-time appointment in periodontics at Fairleigh Dickinson University, the dean at Fairleigh Dickinson asked me to start a magazine for him, and it won an award for the International College of Dentists. Please accept my gratitude at being chosen as an alumni medalist this year. Columbia has truly been a very important part of my life.